What are the components of internal controls? First, we have control environment. This refers to the overall situation of a company. It can include things like tone at the top, so management's attitude, the structure of the organization, the structure and attitude of the board of directors, and their financial reporting policies and procedures. Risk assessment is next. This refers to what risk does the company or organization face? In other words, what are the potentials for fraud or what are the potentials for not meeting business objectives? Next are control activities. These are the policies and procedures designed to address the risks that exist in the organization. So, for example, internal controls could be the policies and procedures related to recording a transaction, only paying an invoice that reconciles to a purchase order, and things of that nature. Monitoring refers to how does management ensure that control activities are actually happening and how do they do periodic evaluations to identify problems and deficiencies in their internal control system. Information and communication refers to the information system within the organization. It's important that this system has quality data to support internal control decisions. It's also important that management communicates internal control objectives and responsibilities throughout the organization and also communicates internal controls matters to relevant external parties, such as the external auditor.